It's a lot of drivers out here wondering why they failing out of the gate. YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Runaway Child, man, we back at y'all again with another one. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button right now. And if you already subscribed to the channel, man, throw a like on the video, man. A like don't cost you anything, you know what I'm saying, to throw on this video. So, man, show your boy some love. And make sure you hit that post notification. That little bell over there on the side right there, make sure you hit that little bell. So that way, every time I drop a video, you'll be in the know on what's going on. But anyhow, what I want to talk to y'all about today was, it's a lot of drivers out here wondering why they failing out of the gate. And I'm gonna tell you one of the biggest issues on why some of you drivers are failing out of the gate. And you're gonna, it's gonna be shocking. It's gonna be shocking the reason why y'all failing out of the gate. Because a lot of y'all is spending too much money when you out on the road. Let me say that again. A lot of y'all are spending too much money when you out on the road. You want to go to every stop that you see. You want to stop. You want to get a soda. You want to get some tater chips. You want to get a sandwich. All of this good stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it seems like it's the thing to do. You get a cash advance or you get an advance or you might bring some money when you leave out the house. You know what I'm saying? To carry you through. And you don't realize at the end of the week, end of the month, however you add tally up your books, that stuff add up. That stuff add up. And I'm going to give you an example. If you talk, stop, stop. If you stop the first time in the morning to fuel and you grab breakfast, let's say that that breakfast cost you $8. And we all know that that's a realistic price, especially with the way inflation is nowadays. We all know that's a realistic price. So let's just say $8, right? Now, you driving, you've been driving for about five or six hours. You done ate that breakfast, that breakfast gone. And next thing you know, you hungry again. So you pull over and you get you something else to eat. That's another $8, eight to 10, really. We just gonna use the bottom, the, 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 the lowest number possible. We gonna use the lowest number possible. So we gonna say $8 again. So now we at $16, right? So then you gonna want some dinner. Later on that night, when you get ready to stop for the night, wherever you choose to park at or whatever. So now you want some dinner. So you let's say $8 again. So now you at $24 for the day. In five days, you had a hundred and some change. Five days, you had a hundred and some change. Now, the easiest way would have been to do it is to, before you leave the house, prep yourself, have you a couple meals ready to go so you don't have to keep stopping and spending money. Also, have you a few snacks and everything. Let me show you how Runaway Child do it. Let me show you how Runaway Child do it. Check this out. See all those snacks? I got bread, I got Swiss rolls, tater chips, you know what I'm saying? Nature bars, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, and I, you know I gotta keep that for the Cap 19. You know what I'm saying? Gotta keep that for the Cap 19. You know what I'm saying? Look, I even make my own coffee. Look at that. I even make my own coffee, man. I don't stop at these truck stops, man, and look to spend all my money when I'm at the truck stop. I try to save as least as much money as possible. You know what I'm saying? I got my refrigerator right here. Look at my refrigerator. Look, see, that's what I'm sitting on. Look at that, fully stocked in there. You know what I'm saying? Got my microwave right here. You know what I'm saying? So when I get ready to cook me something to eat, I already done budgeted it in pretty much. I got a certain amount of times I can eat throughout the week because what you don't understand is, it's called pre dim So each day that you're on the road, you should be taking out pre -dim. So when you get ready to file your taxes at the end of the year, you file as if you got paid each day that you was out down the road. So let's just say if you got paid 50 to $70 per day while you out down the road, when really you only spent about $10 per day. If you could get your 
bottom line down to that number. And I see a lot of y'all guys, y'all going and buy coolers and putting ice in them. What sense do that make? It makes no sense. If you're going to buy a cooler, a bag of ice, every day it's going to cost you 2 to $3 for a bag of ice, right? Okay, let's say 2 to $3 for a bag of ice every day. Why not just buy your refrigerator and then overall, you that refrigerate that bag of ice every day is gonna pay for that refrigerator. It's common sense, man. Common sense. You know what I'm saying? But we trying to teach and teach each one over here at Flare Trucking, man. The whole Flare Gang, man. Shout out to the Flare Gang, man. Y'all know who y'all is. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Keep the videos going up. Keep the numbers going up. Yeah, we're giving them information, information that you can use over here. You know what I mean? Stop buying those bags of ice and buy you a refrigerator. A refrigerator going to cost you $70, $80 at the most, right? You spending 2 to $3 every day on a bag of ice for this cooler, right? You can't keep but so much in that cooler because once the water melt and once the ice melt, it's a bunch of water. You got a bunch of water in your cooler. So if you got bread or anything like that inside of your cooler or whatever you, that, it's soaking wet. It's soaking wet. Get you a refrigerator. You save money in the long run. Back in the back end money. That's what we want. We want the back end money. You save money on the back end. And I know it might come off as a little harsh to some of y'all. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all going to click off this video because y'all don't want to hear it. And y'all gonna be the main ones that's wondering why y'all can't make no damn money out here. You know what I'm saying? Get your head out that bed, put your thinking cap on, and use it in a smart way. Use it for something other than a hat rack. If you wanna make money out here in this trucking industry, it's ways that you gotta go about making the money. You just can't come out here and say, oh, I made $2,000 this week. I can afford to buy myself a pizza. I can afford to buy myself some wings. I can afford to buy myself this, that, and the third. And then at the end of the week, when you're doing that tallying up, you realize you done spent $200 while you was over the road for the week. That could have been $200. You could have been putting in your budget and saving it away for that new, that new truck or whatever you want to spend it on. Christmas, your wife a new ring, your girlfriend a new lingerie outfit you know what i'm saying that could have been money you could have been saving who don't want to save those 200 dollars 100 200 dollars a week come on man y'all slipping out here man i'm seeing a lot of y'all truckers that's doing this a lot of y'all truckers that's doing this man y'all got to get with the program you know what i'm saying for the ones that ain't no truckers man y'all got some people in y'all family because it's everybody that i know got a one at least one trucker in their family send this video to them man and tell them this why you ain't making no damn money right here i know now you keep saying it ain't no money out here but now i know why you keep saying it ain't no money out here because you don't know how to make the money and runaway child just told me why you ain't making no money here go the video and send him the video and if he don't call you back, that's because he ain't watched the video all the way through because he know I'm stepping on some toes. So yeah, man, Runaway Child, Flair Trucking, the whole Flair game, man, we on y'all next this year with this information about how to make money out here, how to start your business. We, we just talking about everything over here. We don't, it don't matter. We talking about everything over here on Flat Trucking. So if you ain't hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Runaway child and we are out.